Hey YouTube, it is VSG Anthony coming at you. Um, today is Saturday, and I had my surgery on Monday uh, with Dr. Cottom through the Utah Bariatric Institute at the uh, Salt Lake Regional Medical Center. And uh, give you the stats real quick. Um, my highest weight was 355. Um, after my liquid diet and on up till the day of surgery for two weeks, I, I did a liquid diet. I went down to 326. And as of this morning, I am now 319 point something. So, um, it's been good. I've been losing weight. Um, I wanted to, I haven't made a video in a little bit, uh, just because it's been, you know, it's been kind of an adjustment and honestly, I've been watching a lot of TV <laughs> just kind of catching up and relaxing and trying to recuperate. So, but I wanted to, you know, make a video and, uh, you know, just kind of tell you how things are going from my experience and, uh, and everything. So, um, you know, I, I have another video where I talk about the day of surgery and I kind of describe my feelings of, uh, how I felt on the day of the surgery. Um, you know, when I woke up from the anesthesia, yeah, I was, I was, it was what I expected, right? A lot of pain, um, gas pain, right? Um, tired and, uh, you know, just, just all that. So, you know, if you want to learn about that, you can watch the other video and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. But, uh, it has been quite an adjustment to tell you the truth. Um, the thing that's, that's, I guess, surprising to me, and I guess I didn't know how it would feel is that on a normal day, if I'm just you know, my, my stomach isn't full or anything. I just feel normal. I feel, there's Zoe. Sorry. She just came to say hi. Uh, on a normal day, if I'm not doing anything or eating anything, I feel normal. And I kind of didn't expect that. And I don't, I don't really know what I expected. Um, you know, just, I figured that, oh, half my stomach or, you know, most of my stomach's gone. So I'll feel different, you know, besides, you know, like physically feel different, right? You know, I don't feel, I don't feel hungry and stuff, you know, that, that was to be expected, but I, I just thought there would be some other physical symptom that would be, wow, I have three fourths of my stomach, but it's not, I don't feel anything. And it's honestly not until I try to eat something that I notice that anything is different with my body. So I think that's, that's interesting there. So, um, I've been kind of lucky because my doctor has just had me on a full liquids diet, which has included um, which is not, you know, clear liquids, which has been great. I don't have to have any more broth or jello. Ugh. I can't handle any more jello. Got sick of jello and honestly, I'm getting kind of sick of my protein too. So I just need some variety. I'm a person that just needs variety. You know, I need to try something different. I, I always joke with my wife, I, you know, if we make lunch, right? I don't like having what I had for lunch for dinner. That's how I am. I like having different stuff. So it's been a little bit of an adjustment. Um, but, uh, you know, so I guess what I've been having now is trying to get the protein shakes down, um, having um, soup, you know, I've gotten some soups. I put them in the blender first, of course, you know, no matter what kind they are, and I make sure they're all nice and smooth. Um, and uh, just had that, and, you know, that's it. Very little, I can have very little. Um, something I wanted to ask you guys, though, is, for me, is the gas pain. I still have issues with gas pain, but not it's not constant. You know, when I had, when I got out of the surgery, it was a constant gas pain. But now, especially if I eat something, it feels like the gas pressure, it just builds and builds and builds until it reaches like a maximum, like I feel like I'm about to explode, and then it goes away. And then maybe later on, if I take another sip or something, it'll come back like a rising pressure and then it will hold it there and then it'll go down. It's just, it's just weird. It just, it keeps doing that, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't know if that's because I'm eating too fast or maybe it's just, you know, my stomach's still kind of adjusting and stuff or I don't know, but I'm wondering if any of you guys have had that problem or if you've had anything to do with it or done anything about it. Um, I'm off pain meds, been off for a couple days, haven't really had anything. My incisions themselves don't hurt at all. Um, just, uh, you know, it's honestly just when I eat. When I eat is when uh, there's any discomfort, you know. 
So uh, recently, um, within the last day or two, I've switched because I realized that uh, in addition to these liquids, I could have cottage cheese, and that's been great. Um, you know, I eat the cottage cheese, take a little tiny spoonful of cottage cheese, and I chew it up, chew it up, chew it up, so that's all liquidy, and I swallow it, and it's been, it's been fine. I uh, thankfully have not, um, I have not uh, thrown up at all, I had no dry heaving or anything, or not even really any nausea or anything, so I haven't had any issues, which has been great. Um, had, uh, you know, been having the, uh, the cottage cheese is good, and this morning I had some hummus, which was fantastic, because I love hummus. Very good, and um, been measuring things, but uh, I think right now I'm getting around 600 calories in, you know, um, like I just physically cannot eat any more than that, and so, and I think that's good, you know, I don't want to push anything, or my stomach is still healing, my body is still healing, of course, and I always say I want to keep my sleeve as small as possible, so. I have been tired, and I, my wife's been getting on, getting on me because I haven't. It's been a big adjustment for me to learn how to drink the water. You know, always having to be sipping water and stuff. It's just, it's different. It's, sometimes it's a bit difficult for me. I'm having to adjust to that, to to always being uh, uh, sipping and you know watching my protein. You know, Westerly Sirius. I know he he rocked it. You know, he's been, you know, he down his protein and all that stuff, and kind of really forcing it and stuff. And I. I have not been then been doing that well. So today I did a lot better. I'm I'm definitely mentally more mentally engaged in the uh, in what I'm putting in my body and making sure that I'm getting everything in. I'm making sure I get my supplements in and trying to get as much water as I can. Uh, today, um, after you know, since Monday, today was the first day that I passed a bowel movement, um, which was great. Um, it's been, you know, since about Sunday, I guess I haven't had one. And so I took some, um, uh, I took some stool softener and I had some pears. Uh, it's really good. I took some pears, cut them up into pieces, um, put them in a blender with some ice and a little water, mix it up. It was very good. Just some pear juice like that. That, I think that helped as well. Um, but, uh. It's great, you know, things are slowly getting to normal. Um, I have had a couple days where I've kind of crashed, like, I think two days ago. I was just tired. We went out shopping and stuff, and I just felt my energy drop. And I think that's probably because I haven't been consistently looking at and taking the vitamins and stuff and just watching that. And so, and I need to do better because today's Saturday, and I have to go back to school Monday, and I have a busy week next, next week, and I just cannot have an energy drop. So, um, hoping that all that will be well. Anyways, um, but like I said, I'm, I'm happy I'm doing, I've done this. Um, I'm very happy that I'm off the liquid diet. I mean, you know, I'm still having to have a lot of liquids, but there's variety. I'm not restricted to just either broth or protein. Oh, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I am, I'm just sick of the protein. I have this other protein, the premier protein. That's good. And I really like that. And I can still have that one, but the, uh, the ones from Costco um, that you can get, I, ah, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm just tired of them, you know. So I will be ecstatic when I'm able to supplement my protein with other sources. You know, cottage cheese is good. My wife made this excellent yogurt. She took plain, uh, non-fat Greek yogurt, and she took some blueberries fresh blueberries and just blended them up and mixed it with the yogurt and it tastes like blueberry blueberry yogurt it's great um and so she has it all separated out in little little containers that i can take these little uh, little ounce containers which i can take with me and it's fabulous so looking for ways to supplement my protein in other ways uh, besides just the protein shakes even though i know i have to do that but just going to be excited for when I can have other sources. So we're going to look into some unflavored proteins as well. See if we can mix those into things here and there and hopefully get it up that way. So, But besides that, I'm good. Uh, I've been walking, you know, trying to walk, keep active and uh, keep the blood flowing. Watching that water and uh, just uh, 
just doing what I do. So um, if you guys have any questions or, um, you know, any tips on where I am at this stage, you know, happy to have it. Uh, I haven't tried, I haven't, well, I haven't tried that many foods, but I haven't had any issues with any foods thus far. Um, you know, haven't uh, had any extreme prolonged discomfort because of something I ate. Um, again, haven't had eggs or anything like that yet, so... It's the first week, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna push it. Um, it's been. It's honestly been just a, excuse me, an exploration, right, to rediscover the the boundaries of my uh, of my stomach, you know, and uh, kind of just lim understanding what my body can, uh, excuse me, what my body can take and what it can't. So, um, it's good. So hopefully within a couple weeks, you know, I'll be moving on to different things and just eating these healthy foods and just losing the weight. So. I will update you guys probably in the next couple of days or in a week or so and let you know how I'm doing. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Bye.